Jason O'Neill here for Hoops Factory TV with George Raveling. Uh, Coach Raveling, you're going to have one of the most unique perspectives of the growth of grassroots basketball since the mid-90s. Uh, what do you think have been some of the biggest changes? Is social media just the biggest change, or is there something else you'd point to? Well, I think uh, from the game itself, the three-point uh, shot has certainly had an immense uh, impact on the game. I think we have uh, young people today who are born with unique athletic skills and they're able to display them at a much earlier age. I think uh, player development has, has enhanced the growth of our young people. Uh, from a cultural standpoint, I think we have to be concerned about the overt involvement of parents and influences in the lives of our young kids. Um, I worry sometimes about the, the emphasis, so much emphasis being put on success in basketball, but not the same amount of emphasis placed on success in the classroom. There has to be some collaboration between education and sports for the, because we're trying to develop a whole person, not just a basketball player. And, and, and um, but I, I think the game is is, is headed in, in, in the, 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 the right direction. But I think we have to keep a balanced perspective about what's important in life, that sports cannot become the all-consuming factor in, in, in a young person's life. You mentioned, obviously, developing the whole person. Uh, USA Basketball recently started putting in some developmental things. Uh, obviously, especially with so many minorities being involved in sports, uh, do you think that that's almost even more important than trying to develop your game? Well, I think the most important game to win is the game of life. That as coaches uh, and as a coach, I have felt that my responsibility always was to teach young people how to win in the, in the most important game, the game of life. Uh, the, the great thing about participation in sports is you learn a lot of life lessons. You learn you don't win all the time, you don't lose all the time. You have to play with the big and, and, and the small, the uh, Chinese, uh, black, it, 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 and you have to learn to make decisions quick, play by the rules. So participation in sports prepare you for the everyday life. And then recently, Cole Anthony had a tweet in support of the EYBL and basically playing uh, young players coming up through the EYBL system. Uh, it set up a big firestorm that had a bunch of people talking about the game between te Team Takeover and Compton Magic last year. Is that something you would kind of advocate seeing more of? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm not really into all of that that one-on-one -on -one stuff uh, and, 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 and these individual battles. Uh, uh, you know, I'm kind of from the, an old school guy, I guess it social media and people like to see those things so I, 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 I certainly wouldn't stand in the way of it but um, <laughs> I, I'm kind of more from the old school about personal development uh, 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 e e taking these opportunities to grow to become a better person to become a better me not just a better basketball player but at the end of the day to try to to utilize the gifts that God have given you to be the best possible human being you can be.